At least no one can accuse his family of being boring. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of drama. Well, I think that's what made the wedding so beautiful. I mean, the terrible revelation, the bride storming out, the groom opening his heart up to her right in front of everyone, all the while knowing that the real danger is almost completely over. That's right. What do you mean, danger? Well, uh, just that we shouldn't worry about danger after such a perfect wedding. Because we're all here together now. And we're family. <laughs> Maybe. All right, uh, sorry, everybody, for waiting. Yes, please join us uh, for the reception. Yeah. yeah. So, what did you think of the wedding? Oh, well, at least they'll remember it, which is more than I can say for Ryan myself. You don't remember your own wedding? Uh, well, I'm only bits and pieces. You know, we were in Vegas, after all. We were just supposed to chaperone Luke and Tracy to the altar. And, uh... Isn't that a little unnerving? No, no. Uh, but I, I do vaguely recall uh, propping Luke up and saying I do for him, and I guess Maya did the same thing with Tracy, and, well, the Reverend got confused, put the wrong names on the certificate. So. <laughs> well, can't you get, a, like, an old? Yeah, we were going to, but then Edward approached us with this offer. If we stay married for a year, we get to split a million dollars. Wow. Why would he do that? <laughs> well, he he wants to groom me to take over ELQ, but it's not going to happen. Corporate plunder is not really my thing. But Maya could use her money to pay off her student loans, help her sister out, so happy to help. Oh, that's nice of you to stay married to a woman you don't really love. <laughs>